The buzz of a chainsaw is the only sound in this quiet Kenyan forest, and it's music to the timber industry's ears. More than five years after a nationwide logging ban, the country's forests are once again open for business. Conservationists worry President William Ruto's decision will decimate the country's carbon-rich forests. But it's not a free-for-all, warns Baringo County's forest conservator. Logging is only taking place in plantation forests, which are established with the purpose of harvesting for various wood materials at the rotation age, that is when they are mature, to give the maximum revenue. We don't do any logging in the indigenous forest. They are the, the areas that are for protection and for environmental purposes. At this sawmill in Molo in northwest Kenya, half the machines are now operational. Its owner says Ruto's announcement rescued the timber industry, which lost 44,000 jobs. The people that I had to let go, when they had now the ban, the, uh, the, the, the ban had lifted up, they were calling me, they were so anxious, they were excited, they never believed it would come back. Since taking office, President Ruto has cast himself as a champion of the environment and vowed to plant 15 billion trees over a decade. When the logging ban was introduced, Kenya's forests were being cleared at a rate of 5,000 hectares a year. In Thogoto Forest, just outside Nairobi, a conservation group is perplexed by Ruto's change of heart. It is like uh, this time you are talking about uh, planting, tomorrow you talk about cutting. It, it does not uh, uh, add up. Greenpeace Africa goes one step further. It's accusing the president who introduced the ban himself in 2018 of hypocrisy. Our president is notorious for double speak. We can't have, our, right now, especially with the, the way the climate crisis is, we can't have cutting down trees and replanting trees in the same sentence. It cannot work that way. But not everyone in the industry is reaping profits. Sawmiller Eric Bascoin has harvested dozens of trees since the ban was lifted, but many have decayed in the center because they're over mature. Coin has re-employed 50 workers in the past month, but says the industry is still struggling to recover. Only those who had a fallback managed. Others up to now, they have not even gone to the forest to remove what they had paid for because they, they cannot manage to service the machines, the power source. To put structure in place after five years is not easy. For now, environmentalists have a reprieve after a court temporarily barred the government from issuing logging licenses. The legal challenge will be heard on August 14th.